Okay, I'm out under the sun. That's where I have my boat docked over there. Right about now the uh, sun goes up and uh, the roof eliminates sunshine on the back of the boat where I usually get most of my sun. There's one panel there now, but I usually have two panels. I moved the other panel right up here. Uh, the reason I'm out here is I wanted to see uh, how I can improve my charging. Uh, I've got four Renogy 100 watt compact panels up here. Uh, on a good day with some overcast sun, uh, it, it, they charge at about 300 watts. Um, so for, for a 400 watt bank, I'd like a little bit more. And I thought, well, I'm gonna add uh, this extra panel up here, which these, are, these can be moved around, but I may even just leave it here. Um, move this, uh, leave this panel here, and I'll probably find, uh, get some levers and tilt it up flat so when I'm out, this thing will sit flat too like the others. So I'm gonna wire this into that bank uh, in series. Uh, we should get it to about 60, uh, 60 volts, right around 10 amps once that's in, and uh, see what I get. So uh, if I can bump this up to four, 450, that'd be beautiful. Um, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna make some cables and add them to the run. I've got these uh, about 30 foot runs of cable left from the entire install. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run those through this water channel right here. Now water will still be able to get out of there. They're just gonna run into here though so they can go up front to the, uh, to the main connection up there. So give me a second to snake that through and figure it out. out. So all 570 watts of panels are charging at 415 or 16 watts. It's not a perfectly clear day. We're not directly under the sun. I don't think it's solar noon. But uh, this is the result I'm getting from the panels I'm about to show you. 423, 424. It'd be awesome to get 500, but I don't think it's going to happen. As you can see, it's a partially cloudy day. The sun is in and out of the clouds. So uh, let me show you my setup here, basically. This is the, uh, the midship panel. That's a Bouge 170 watt panel. And I've got the four Renogy 100 watt compact panels up front. So out of 570 watts worth of panels, getting about 425. Um, granted, I do have a lot of cable run so there's probably like I was saying before I got cut off there um, there's probably 20 30 maybe even 40 feet of cable between this bank and the front and down to the blue eddy so that's probably a lot of loss I don't know how to calculate that but I'll find out at some point so um, you know these are charging about 425 if the conditions were a little bit better without any clouds and direct over I maybe get some high 400s. That's still a, a not a bad charge for sitting out here and uh, uh, you know enjoying the sun. So actually, that's all I wanted to tell you, man. Added the Bouge 170 back here. I'll be tilting that up, and when I go in, I'll just lay it down on the on the rail there, and it'll be kind of out of sight. So um, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish today. Got this extension uh, panel set up. And uh, I'll just keep doing this as I go along so we can uh, maybe get more power coming in. I had an idea uh, with, that, uh, with that fifth panel up there. I'm going to, uh, I'm getting 450 right now. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go up and put the extra panel in parallel with the front bank and just to see what happens. Right now we're in series with the front bank. So I'm going to switch those and see what happens. Well, after I plug the... Uh, the, the bank of panels together um, in parallel took a reading and it just seemed like it was too high of, a, uh, of an amp reading for this uh, so any more than 10 amps I didn't want to damage anything so we're back to series operation with the five panels and uh, it's at 438 I've seen it as high as 450 clouds out here so there's definitely a, a lot of ups and downs so anyhow 